let's head up to Coleman, Michigan and meet up with Dave Bolenbaugh, the owner of Starwin Farm. <laughs> I started out graduating from college and I bought my 80 acre facility here with just a field and uh, we eventually built everything you see here uh, basically built around uh, efficiency of handling animals and feeding and those kind of things. Um, I stood my first stallion in uh, 1980 and I've been a commercial breeder ever since. Uh, we've had numerous pacers and numerous trotters here. One of them of course was Superman and the other one is Stubby B. And uh, I think there's 65 broodmares on the farm and four stallions. And I think we sold 25 head at the select sale at Adrian last Sunday. And, and I got about 40 babies to wean here when we get done with all this interviewing. Ann and I have been in the business together for 10 years here. And I have a couple other part-time people that go full-time during our busy season. But probably our, our, our biggest claim to fame is our efficiency and our ambition here. A line or two about Superman now. Where is he? What's he doing? Well, he's standing right here beside of us. Uh, he's been retired. Uh, of course, at one time he was the, the, the premier trotting stallion in Michigan. In fact, his last crop of three-year-olds are, are finishing up this year, and uh, Colt and Philly won the three-year-old divisions of the Spartan fraternity in Midland. Uh, he's got a new job. He, he doesn't breed anymore, but he, he's our teaser stallion, and he, he actually checks out three times a week uh, whether the mares are in heat and whether they're receptive to be bred to other horses like Stubby B or some of our new stallions. And, and he likes that job real well, and it, it really gives him something to do. And he's uh, 26, and he feels great, and uh, he likes his new job. And Stubby B is at his uh, fifth year at stallion here, and uh, we bought and purchased Stubby B from a uh, gentleman in, in Pennsylvania. And uh, we searched all over for the last few years before we bought him to find just the right horse. Uh, and he's just been a sensational since he's got here. He uh, kind of started slow. We're a little ways up north. And, and uh, he had early speed as a two and three year old himself, but he only had a couple hundred thousand on his card when he came up here. So he didn't come up here with a million dollars worth of earnings. So uh, I think the first year we bred 50 mares, and then maybe 40, and then the third year, 60. There are some people that are saying that he has now produced what could be, potentially, the best three-year-old filly ever produced in Michigan. Well, I'd have to agree with you there. You know, maybe we could go back in history and, and look for other mares that have done equally as well, but right now she's almost undefeated in, in the Colt State program, and, and, and when she does win, she sets multiple track records at every Who are we talking about? Oh, uh, clearly clout. <laughs> clearly clout. Dave has put a lot of time, effort, and financing into his farm and the industry in Michigan, and it's nice to see it paying off with a top sire like Stubby B.